CEO Ronald from Create a Difference. We have two Storm IQ Tour balls. Both of them are brand new. They both have had a verified 2000 grit true cut surface put on them and they've never hit the lane. The difference is the layout. Now the pin to PAP distance is the exact same at four and three quarters each. The first angle is also uh, the exact same at 60 degrees, but the second angle is what's different. One ball is at 40 degrees and one ball is at 30 degrees. This one right here happens to be at 40 and this one happens to be at 30. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have Dustin throw some balls down the lane and we're gonna see how much difference that angle, 10 degrees, matters from a performance standpoint. So we'll have Dustin go ahead, throw some shots. We're gonna use uh, clutch bowling to help us kind of see what's going on visually. So that was a nice little uh, seven thing you left there, Dustin. Yeah. So now we'll just go back and forth, right? We'll just go back and forth. So now we'll try the other ball. So this is the, so that was the one that has the 30 degree second angle from a dual angle layout standpoint. This is the one that has the uh, 40 degree. You can hear a little bit of difference there on the lay down, but the rest of the reaction wasn't too far off. Now it's gonna go away. So you go back to the other ball. Go back to the other ball, you should keep going back and forth. So the one you're throwing now is the 30 degree. 30 degree, so we'll get the 30 degree one again. So lay down was pretty close. A little bit inside, all right? And we can obviously see the ball reaction difference there. We'll go again, you're gonna grab the 40 degree one. We're just kind of seeing how much difference there really is. You know, it's always a question that people uh, have asked, want to know more about. You know, how much difference does the, the angle make? All right. And it's, it's very curious. I'm very curious myself actually to see exactly how much difference there actually is here. Like I said, both these balls were freshly surfaced, so they have the exact same surface on them. And they're being thrown back and forth, irregardless of if he repeats the shot or not, so that they get the same amount of wear on them, and the lanes also experience the same amount of transition. So you moved right on that one, okay? That one was the... That was a 30 degree, so let's see if we can repeat the shot right there with the 40 degree one. Let's see if we can see a ball motion difference. It's pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, I don't know about you, but that'd be awfully hard to tell the difference between those two shots. All right. Once again, we're changing balls. We're right back. So that one appears to have a little bit more hook there. It was relatively close on the front side. But now we're back to 40 degrees. So we're going to check the 40 degree one again. Can you hit the reset button? Let's get your back to back full racks so we can actually keep the ball into the pins. All right, here we go. This is the 40 degree. It's a little outside. All right, we can sell that off of that hand, so that won't count. You're gonna see us doing a lot more of this, a lot more videos live and in real time, so we can actually uh, be able to show you some of the ball motion of the balls as well as plot it on the lane. And this also makes it cool because it's live, right? It's a live feed, it's a live video. There's no real editing here too, so that's always good. All right, so that shot is gonna 
counters our strike shot. You'll watch the other line disappear. So we'll see if he can repeat that shot. What type of reaction that we get at a full rack. And that ball was what ball? That ball was, it was 30 degrees. So let's try it with uh, 40 degrees. Similar shot. I mean, those balls were dealt out with each other and they rolled identical. <laughs> like, there wasn't really any difference at all. So that's interesting, right? It allows you to get a little bit more insight as to kind of what's going on. Um, it allows you to see a little bit about uh, the performance that bowling balls have, and it allows you to understand a little bit more about uh, angle layouts or dual angle layouts, and if there's a whole lot of difference, which honestly, the flare patterns look uh, very similar on these bowling balls, as you can see, and uh, the surfaces obviously is the same still, as you can tell as well. And like I said, this ball right here was the... 40 degree layout, and this ball right here was the 30 degree layout. Actually, I have that backward. This ball right here was the 40 degree layout. 40, 30. Now you can see. You want to do it one more time, Dustin? Sure. All right, which one you going to throw first? I'll throw the 40 first. 40 first. 40 degree first. And this is just the beginning of us using the clutch system. We've got a whole lot of cool things coming with clutch. That obviously was a little bit different than his last shot, as you can see, and the line will disappear. So he basically 2810. Can you repeat that shot? Really well. let's, let's try that. Let's re get your fresh rack and let's try the other ball. And we'll see if he also 2810 with this in a similar spot. Too. Pretty close. Pretty close, that ball actually struck. So you can see that line was a little bit different. It was close, but definitely was a little bit different. It appeared to be a little bit straighter through the front part of the lane, which may explain why I recovered. Switch balls and you go back to the other one. Which one you guys throw again? We're back to 40. 40. We're back to 40. That's the best part of this because you can actually see when he repeats the shot visually. If he doesn't repeat the shot, well, then the reaction shouldn't be the same. The shot doesn't count. But when he does repeat the shot, you can really see the difference or not see the difference in performance. That ball was a little bit right. You can see that. Definitely right. And it will disappear. And we're, and we're bowling on a challenging pattern here. So the pattern is actually uh, Autobahn, Kegel's Autobahn pattern, which is not a recreation pattern. It's more of a, it's not quite sport, but it's more of a challenge pattern. So not easy you gotta you know repeat the shot make some good pitches or else you pay the full price as you can see uh i'm curious to see what ball you want to now 30. he's gonna go to 30 degrees repeat the shot maybe he'll be able to fit it through there who knows that was in just a little bit so that was good because it was in just a little bit and he picked off the two like you'd expect so anyway that gives you a real good idea uh, and a very very basic understanding of what we're talking about when we're talking about layouts now you have a little bit better understanding and hopefully you can go to your pro shop operator and talk to them about what layout's best for you. As always, if you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hickman, CEO from Create a Difference. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And check out one of the other videos on the screen for more information. Thanks for joining us.